First of all, it's uh, Kenyan-based ICT enterprise that is uh, focused on ICT for development, uh, mobile application development, and issues to do with ICT policy um, and regulation. The project we're working on is uh, together the UNESCO, and it's building a literacy app um, that is intended to be used in South Sudan, where, as you know, there's a lot of conflict, and we have members of the community and members of that country that have very low literacy levels. And we've seen cases here in Kenya where we have applied technology with um, companies like Elimo and Eneza that use digital platforms to educate young people. And we are hoping that it's the same case, although the context in which that exists in South Sudan is very extreme, that a mobile application can be used to bridge the gap. The UNESCO Literacy Art Project is a very uh very interesting and engaging project. Um, the UNESCO uh, South Sudan office has been doing a lot of initiatives uh, to increase the literacy level in South Sudan. Um, and together with the UNESCO mobile project, which is a global initiative to utilize mobile technology, uh, they have teamed up um, to come up with this uh, literacy application. And the application is supposed to help um, users, especially youth in South Sudan, um, to access literacy, uh, to access literacy material, and uh, and understand uh, several things through uh, their mobile phones. The way the application is proposed to work is at the most basic level, educating its users in how to read or write. The app incorporates basic functionalities that allow a user to listen to things like the alphabet and hear C that this is the letter A, and then here, the letter mentioned within the app. That is a very basic thing that a lot of people in South Sudan don't have. Basic reading and writing skills. What do letters look like? How do I send them out? The UNESCO literacy uh, expertise um, has been very, very uh, key in the development of this application. Um, I, myself, and the whole team, we have experience in technology and mobile application development but we don't have uh, enough experience in the literacy field. Um, UNESCO is known worldwide as a global champion of literacy, um, and they have been in South Sudan for a long time, so the context and the understanding of literacy has been very, very helpful to us. The challenges in developing this application are quite a number, especially given the foundation of conflict in South Sudan, uh, the levels of literacy we have, girls, who go to school, the levels are really low at 33%. Those are really low levels. Some of the challenges have been not being able to go to South Sudan and do the research with the people with whom, for whom the application is targeted. And the second challenge is that this is a very pioneering uh, uh, initiative, so there are no case studies of similar, uh, of similar projects with the same context for you to, uh, to look up to and to get insights from. So we had to uh, custom design and get a lot of uh, the information and the modules uh, from scratch here. Yeah. And that has been really challenging. Understanding and having a, a user experience personnel in the team has really helped us a lot. Uh, we didn't want to do this project just by developing and starting uh, the, to code the application, but we used a lot of insights from a user experience personnel who was able to, uh, to give us uh, very useful information on the user journey or what might be very helpful and useful. Uh, for the users and the application, and that, that has really provided a lot of insight. Given the type of impact we envision such applications having, I strongly hope that the UNESCO project um, for mobile technology can be expanded to see more solutions surfacing, especially towards bridging the literacy gap in communities that are un underserved and marginalized. Our hope for this application is really to help uh, increase the literacy level in South Sudan. We uh, project a very, very big adoption, uh, and because it is using mobile technology, which is widely, widely used in South Sudan, we expect that more people who in ad otherwise wouldn't have gotten the chance to access uh, educational material will access this, 
And also we hope that through this pilot project, we can uh, apply the same, uh, the same structures and modules in different regions uh, across Africa <coughs> and also globally.